Hi there, my name is Mufu and you're watching Music with Mufu. Here I share some helpful tips for you and your child's musical journey. In this video, I'm going to share three tips to help you and your child get started on online music lessons in Kenya. Now, please stick around until the very end because I have got a beautiful package for you, a lovely gift that you will say thank you. Number one, pre-packaged DVD and CD music lessons. I know that sounds Neolithic, like what era are we in? DVD players, do they still make those? Uh, yes, they do. This method started way, way before the internet when we still had the snail mail, you know, the regular mailing service. And some music professionals discovered that they could reach people who just want to learn at their own pace. So these lessons are pre-recorded in a professional setting, maybe in a studio, um, and you get to order them. It comes via the mail. Yes, it will come through poster as a CD or DVDs. And you just have it for as long as, well, until they get scratched. But that's a method that is still being used today. If you want, you can still search online. You would find, if you're lucky, you can still find a tutor who is selling music lessons via DVD. Now, this method is very useful for those people who would find um, streaming expensive or they don't have um, reliable internet because it could be, you know, Wi-Fi is not always cheap. Uh, but it's a good method. For as long as you have a DVD player or a computer, you know, a desktop or a laptop with a CD drive or DVD drive, you can have these lessons and you can take them at your pace. You just go for as long as the CD doesn't get scratched, you're good to go. So that's one way you could do it uh, for you or your child. Number two, this is very similar to number one. These are pre-recorded lessons, but they are taken via the internet. So you would, again, search the internet and find the music tutor that is selling pre-packaged lessons online. You know, sometimes you have an initial free course, uh, usually like the very beginner stage, it's a free course. You would finish that course and then you would want, maybe, to take the next level. And at that point, you would have to make a payment. When you do make your payment, you're given a unique link to your lessons and you can take the lessons at your own pace. That is you or your child. Of course, if it's your child, you're going to have to do it with the child to help them follow the instructions and so on. Good thing about this kind of lessons is that um, it's a one-off payment, especially if you're paying for packages. When you pay, for one package, it can be used for the other members of the family as long as it's the same IP address. So if you are signing up for your daughter's lesson, she's the older child, um, after she's gone through that um, lesson, you don't lose it. It can be used by her younger sibling. And they're also quite cheap, to be honest. I will put a link in the description box and you can try out and see if it works for you. So I like these courses because they are forever. Another good thing about this course is for a little extra money, you can get feedback from the tutor. So um, whereas in the CD or DVD situation, when you've bought the course and that's it, in this course, you can interact with your tutor. You would have to normally pay a little bit extra and uh, you can get some feedback. Now it's not uh, a weekly thing so it's possibly uh, feedback from maybe after you've taken uh, the package and then you want to get you want to ask some questions about how to go forward and so on so I would really recommend these kind of courses especially if you're on a budget it's truly perfect I like them I've taken a course like that myself and I would say as long as you're patient and you're taking the exercises that are required to be done. If, if one lesson is supposed to be for the week and you really do practice for that week, you will see progress. If you want to rush through 
all the exercises that is meant let's say for 10 lessons and then you just do them like in two days you are not going to reap the results you desire so yeah that is the second method which brings me now to the third method now that we are in some kind of containment and it's lessons via zoom or skype or facetime or i don't think this works up lessons but Basically, this is one-on-one -on -one interaction with a music tutor and uh, what happens is you you just have to download the Zoom app or the Skype app. Uh, you need a computer with webcam or a laptop with, uh, of course, with this camera so that you can see each other. You need good internet and then I suppose you're good to go. Uh, a lot of these platforms are usually meant for speech or conversation and so it might not really sound as good as a regular one-to-one -one lesson uh, but that's something that you get to maneuver and you work around that and and then it, it it becomes sort of normal in fact it's the new normal for music lessons now a lot of music tutors go through great lengths to make sure that the lessons run smoothly it's up to you on your side to do the same. You want to make sure that you've got reliable internet. You want to make sure that the room is conducive, that there are no distractions. And also you want to make sure that you have the proper equipment. So if you signed up for flute lessons, for example, you should not be showing up with a recorder. If you have signed up, let's say for piano lessons, your child shouldn't show up for the session with a toy keyboard. It's just not fair for either of you. So um, just make sure that you also do your due diligence to make sure that the tutor you have signed up with is um, has some credibility. That is going to be up to you. And so now it brings me to a bonus. I had said that I was going to give you a bonus. I was going to give you a nice gift. And that is in the description box, I have listed down a number of tutors that I know do online music sessions in Kenya. Just make sure that as you're going into this, you are open-minded to learn as you're exploring this kind of lessons and um, to be, I don't want to say pragmatic, but you need to be aware that these are new uh, methods um, maybe even for both you and the tutor and so you need some patience, right? I've tried to elaborate the grouping of the instruments uh, That I have put next to the teacher's name. So for example, if it says strings Then that teacher is possibly teaching violin, viola, cello and double bass. The brasses are trumpets, trombones, uh, euphonium, you know, the shiny instruments and so on. Keyboard is usually just piano um, and then there's percussion which involves the, you know, drums, xylophone, and so on. So here's the question of the day. Which of the three methods are you likely to try for you or your child's music lessons? Please let me know in the comment section below. Like this video if you like it, and please subscribe to the channel, and also click the bell so that you can know when I send out another video. But that's it for today. So see you in the next video.